We turn our 25 sports team spotlight on the field. Crest Knights, the back-to-back -back McLean County Heart of Illinois Conference Tournament champs. They won two big trophies last week and a great weekend for Fieldcrest. They actually hung on to this trophy. They've had this trophy for a while as the Heart of Illinois Traveling Trophy champs. But to go back to back to defend your title, I know it was extra special for you guys. It was. Uh, so proud of the guys. Worked super hard. And uh, yeah, to go back to back is a, a, a big accomplishment, something that uh, certainly was on the goal list, but uh, really hard to do in a great conference like ours. Yeah, I mean, the depth of the conference is tremendous this year. And I, I always say this trophy. Uh, a lot of sportsmanship, a lot of class from all the schools uh, that they value sports. This, this trophy means something. It does. Uh, it's been around forever and uh, so much history. And uh, when you talk to all the great coaches in our conference and, and past coaches and stuff, I think that that uh, uh, kind of adds to it. And it, it certainly was, uh, it's been a great honor to be able to have it in our possession for a little while. Coach Han said uh, when I invited him, he said he wanted to bring the whole team. So I'm going to have you introduce your team right now. Uh, we have Kate Kerfoot. Dallas Cook, Connor Reichman, Ryan Armagast, Braden Hahn, Maddox Modro, Cash Clendworth, Isaac Kapa, Josiah Johnson, Colton Kerfoot, Nathan Cook, Leighton Gertis, and Jackson Hakes. And, and teamwork is something you talk a lot about. You, you've got a lot of good players. Uh, I don't know if you have all state players, but man, you have a lot of good players, don't you? We do. Uh, we're very deep. Uh, uh, I think that we can uh, play a lot of different ways if we have to. Uh, still t developing, still have a lot of uh, work to do, but uh, we do have a lot of talent, uh, a lot of players, and uh, uh, it's been a lot of fun to work with them. The key moving forward, you got a huge showdown with El Paso Gridley. Again, I think you're both ranked number nine in this week's poll, so two state-ranked teams is kind of fun in, in late January and a rematch of last Saturday's game. It is. Uh, talked to Coach Meese before the, the championship game, and it's just a – just to appreciate the environment, uh, I, I, I think it's awesome. It's an awesome experience for the, for the guys. And uh, to play a great team like El Paso Gridley uh, with tremendous talent, and Coach Meese does a really nice job with them, it's, it's going to be a great environment again Friday. Most of our Class 2A schools are going to what they're calling the, the sectional of death, the Canton sectional, but <laughs> you guys are going a different route. It's not going to be a whole lot easier, but you, you must feel like this is uh, potentially a state uh, tournament dangerous team. Oh, I think so. That's certainly a, a, a goal. I mean, there's so many great teams out there. Bismarck Henning's really good in our, in our subsectional. And so uh, it's going to be a tough road. But, uh, yeah, we're staying away from the sectional of death a little bit. <laughs> but uh, uh, the depth of quality in, in the Class 2A is, is tremendous. So it's going to be tough. For you guys to keep winning, what do you have to keep doing? Uh, we got to guard. Uh, we, we pride ourselves in defense. We pride ourselves in taking care of the basketball and being efficient offensively, getting out and running when we can. But if we have to uh, play a different way and, and slow down, we can try and do that too. But uh, we got to guard, take care of the basketball, play smart, play connected, play, play great team, team basketball. Sounds good. Let's meet a few, a few of your players right now. We're joined by three captains, Ed Lord and Brady Russman here in the front row and Jordan Heider joining me here in the back. I'm going to start with Ed and Ed. What does it feel like to go back to back as champions of that great tournament? Well, I mean, it's great, but uh, we came into it. We not not saying we're going back to back, but um, once we got that win, it started that conversation. When we went back to back, and just coming in and playing as a team, it's the best feeling in the world. So it's a team sport. Yeah, Brady. Obviously, it's a new team this year, but uh, you won a lot of games last year. It's really carried over. You're having a great season. State right now, 18 and one. Uh, well, what is the secret to this team winning? Um, it's really just guarding. You know, playing the best defense we can, helping. And then making the one extra pass, not being selfish. Yeah, Jordan here in the back row, when I watch you play, I'm, I'm so amazed by your passing. It is uh, the hockey assist, the one extra pass. I mean, that's just something that it, you stress, or that's just the way you guys are? Or? Yeah, we have faith everyone can make a big play, and we trust each other and know we can make best plays. And, and there's depth, too, isn't there? I mean, there's not like just shut down this guy or shut down that guy. You have a lot of different weapons. Yeah, it's, I mean... Like Coach says, it's hockey subs. I mean, we, we, can, we can really play anybody on any given night. I mean, we're in there, and we just we like to play, and we like to get gritty. So, Brady, you got El Paso Gridley coming to your gym uh, tomorrow night, Friday night. How much fun is that? And uh, a quick rematch with uh, kids you know, I'm sure, very, very well. Yeah, it's real fun, especially since, you know, they're only 20 minutes away, and they're a really good team this year. I make it in, like, 15 minutes. Yeah. Like, 14 yeah. minutes, maybe. I, I, 20 minutes, okay, go on. Yeah, and uh, since they're really good this year, and we just played them last week, and it was a close game, it'll be real fun. Jordan, let me ask you a little bit about the state tournament. I know it's still a couple weeks away, and I don't want to look past anybody, but th this team must feel like they can make a run. Yeah, we look forward to playing our next games because they're so big, and we have so many conference games left, and just 
awesome. We're cherishing every moment that we have left together, and we hope we can make a big run. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, teamwork is more than just something uh, you say at uh, Field Crest. Huh? It really is uh, a kind of the, the star of the team, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, like you said, I mean, we're all just like all-around players, and we just like to work together, and that's why I think we're so good. That sounds good. Well, best of luck to you versus El Paso Gridley in the rematch. Best of luck in the state tournament trail. The Fieldcrest Knights, our team spotlight for tonight.